Thank you, Madam Speaker. I rise in strong support of H.R. 2694, the Pregnant Workers Fairness Act. As a mom and a policymaker, I know how important it is to protect the economic security of pregnant workers and working families. Yet, 41 years after the passage of the Pregnancy Discrimination Act, federal law falls short of guaranteeing that all pregnant workers have reasonable workplace accommodations to protect their health and the health of the baby. Reasonable accommodations can range from providing seating, water, light duty, to excusing pregnant workers from tasks that involve dangerous substances. But when pregnant workers do not have access to the accommodations they need, they are at risk of losing their job, being denied a promotion, or not being hired in the first place. Unfortunately, pregnant workers suffer workplace discrimination at alarming rates. According to a survey from the National Partnership for Women and Families, more than 60 percent of women have experienced pregnancy discrimination on the job. Women of color are overrepresented in low-wage, physically demanding jobs and are therefore disproportionately harmed by a lack of access to reasonable accommodation. Last year, I chaired an Education and Labor Subcommittee hearing on pregnancy discrimination, and we heard very compelling testimony demonstrating that far too many pregnant workers are denied access to reasonable workplace accommodations, despite the existing federal law providing for equal treatment on the job. Now, my home state of Oregon is helping to lead the way by passing bipartisan legislation that requires reasonable accommodations for pregnant workers. The new law has protected pregnant women and also provided certainty to the business community. But we need to make sure that all pregnant workers, regardless of where they live, can access the protections they need to stay safe and healthy in the workplace. The Bipartisan Pregnant Workers Fairness Act is our opportunity to address pregnancy disc discrimination and protect the health, well-being, and economic security of pregnant and parenting workers and their families. By clarifying the right of pregnant workers to fair treatment in the workplace, we will finally guarantee that pregnant workers get the accommodations they need without facing fear of discrimination or retaliation. I thank Chairman Scott and Chairman Nadler for their leadership. I urge my colleagues to support this bipartisan bill. And Madam Speaker, I request unanimous consent to enter into the record a letter from the National Women's Law Center in support of the legislation. Without objection, gentlemen, this time has expired. Thank you. I yield back.